Hey guys, Carly here with We Print Wraps. Um, so last time I showed you how to set up a cut contour on a nice and simple object. This time I'm gonna show you how to set up a cut contour on a more complex object. All right, as you can see when I select all this art, you can see all these beautiful path lines. There's a lot going on. Um, what we want to do is create a cut line that is going to cut around the outside of this object um, so we can make it one individual sticker. So to do that we're going to start um, first I'm going to create three layers. Um, I'm going to put my artwork in the middle layer and art um, cut layer on the top bleed layer on the bottom um, so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna control C copy my artwork I'm gonna go uh, edit paste in place so it's gonna paste it right there on top of the last piece of artwork um, as you can see over here my layers I got art on the art layer now I have art on the cut layer now I want to turn this into a cut line so it's always important to make sure that all your strokes are outlined before you start combining paths. So I'm going to go to Object, Path, Outline Stroke. So that what that does is it takes all my strokes and turns them into lines and points. So um, next I want to do, I just want to like combine all these paths and just make one nice outline. So um, this is where the path tinder, uh, <laughs> Pathfinder tool comes in handy. Um, I use it quite often so I keep it over here on uh, in my workspace on the right hand side. Um, if you can't find it you're going to go to Window, Pathfinder and it'll pop right up and I just like to keep it over here. Alright, so I'm going to go to the first one. It's called Unite. And I'm going to click it and bam, there it is, combines all those paths. And now we have one solid object instead of a whole bunch of multiples. Um, now I'm going to turn this into a cut contour. So here we go. Um, new swatch. I'm going to go cut contour, capital C, oops, capital C, U, T capital C O N T T O U R. Make sure those C's are capital. That's very important. Um, has to be a spot color. It needs to be in C Y M K. So we're going to go zero, a hundred percent magenta, zero, zero. So it's, if you're using the cut contour quite often, you might want to save it in your library. So you want to maybe click here, add to my library, hit okay. Um, I have my libraries panel right over here because I use it a lot. Um, if you can't find it, you're just going to go to window, hit libraries. You can drag it into your workspace, keep it there if you like it. Um, so the cut contour is always there. You can always refer back to it so you don't have to do the new swatch thing every single time. So right now the cut contour is the fill. I'm going to go ahead and switch it to the stroke and make that stroke a 0.25. Um, and there's your cut line. So now we need to add bleed to this so if the plotter doesn't cut perfectly it's not going to cut white around these around the object so when you zoom in you can see that the the edge of the object is all black so there's no other colors where the cut line is so we're going to gonna make that bleed black so i'm going to go ahead and copy Control c um that cut line I'm going to go to um, lock my cut layer, now go to my bleed layer, and then go object, um, nope, not object, edit, place, uh, paste, and place. Whoa, that's a tongue twister. All right, so there it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click these little eyeballs to like hide those layers real quick. Now we can see the cut layers there by itself, but now I don't want it to be a cut anymore cut line so I'm going to change it I'm um, going to go ahead and turn it to the fill and change it black we want the bleed to be black so there's a couple ways you can do the bleed you can change the stroke to black um, raise the stroke up until you got a nice bleed around it or the way I like to do it is object path 
offset path. Um, I normally do 0.1 or 0.2 depending on how big the print is. This one I think is only like 10, 13 inches. So um, 0.1 is fine. I'm going to hit OK. I like to do round also. So there we go. OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring the visibility back on my other layers so they're not hidden anymore. You want to make sure those eyeballs are all there before you send it to print. So here we go, here's our finished product. You can zoom in and see that this pink line is where it's gonna cut all the way around the object. And we got some black bleed, so if the plotter is a little off, it'll save you from getting white in there. All right, um, I'm probably gonna do a couple different tutorials on the cut contour, because there's just so many um, different shapes and ways to do things and obstacles that come in the way depending on the graphic that you're using and if it's not vector and whatnot so that's it for this one see you guys later